The moment that Stokes flicked the switch, it seemed to coincide with Johnny Bairstow's dismissal. We might go there because not for any other reason than to get your sense of the dismissal itself. So Kerry clearly was entitled within the laws of the game to do as he did. Um, Stokes was asked after play about spirit of cricket. That tends to be used whenever anyone doesn't like something that's not gone their way. It's a preamble in front of the laws. Laws of the game, Bairstow was... Um, drifting out of his crease for reasons best understood by him. Uh, where did you land on this on commentary? Well, the spirit of cricket is always a, a great debate because um, who breaks the spirit of cricket first? It's like the mancad. You know, you always have a go, and I've been, you know, culprit of that. You have a go at the bowler for, for mancad. It's actually the batter that leads the crease first, so maybe we should have a go at the batter. If you actually look at the Johnny Berso situation, Johnny three balls on the trot, got the bounce, ducked under it, never once looked back. Yeah. Never once looked back to Alex Kerr and just say, I'm all right, I'm okay to leave. And then the last ball of the... the whether the Australians have talked about that, that Johnny Bears, who does duck and just kind of never looks back and walks out, I'm not too sure. Kerry, I think, just instinctively threw the ball. Uh, I'm not blaming Alex Kerry at all. Uh, I'm not blaming Pat Cummins because it's the law. But it's where does that spirit of cricket first get broken? Is it the fact that Johnny Bairstow didn't ask to leave his crease or is it the fact that Pat Cummins uh, didn't say to Johnny, come on, we'll, we'll allow you a second innings? Um, the laws are the laws. We saw that last night with Mitchell uh, Stark's exactly. catch. You know, the laws were broken. That's why it was not out. And in this instance, I think Johnny Bairstow, the, all the press and everyone will talk about that situation. Ultimately, it's the kind of dismissal that I looked at, Johnny being a bit dozy, I would have done exactly the same. It's the kind of way I would have got out and my captain Nasser Hussein would have said to me, God, you are so dozy. Um, so I, I think Pat Cummins is well within his right. He'll get booed for the remainder of the series. The Aussies will get booed everywhere. It kind of brings more drama.